Um, to do ringing, you need a permit by the Ministry of Environment and Tourism, and you must have been tested by a qualified ringer, um, who also teaches you um, how to take birds out of the net, how to use traps, how to handle the bird, how to take measurements, and all this type of stuff. This is called a mist net, and you can only buy them if you are a qualified ringer and you've got a permit. What happens is the bird flies against the net and falls into the bag yeah, and then gets entangled. Um, this is now my iPod and my little speaker, which I hang up here, and this is now the call of the pearl spotted out. And this is why he came, because he thought there's somebody else in his territory. This is now the call of the white-faced owl. And we'll see if there's any of those around, and hopefully he comes to the net and then we've got another owl. So we put that up here and leave it. Now this one um, is ringed already. I must have ringed it well, last year, July, when I was here. Okay. Um, it's one of the smallest owls we've got in the country. It's called the pearl spotted owl. And this is how this little bugger looks like. And it's called pearl spotted owl because you see all these pearl like it and then it's got like false eyes at the back. May I touch it? Yeah. Yeah, it feels very soft. Oh wow. Gentle. You see there is actually false eyes. It's you see it better when it's sitting on a branch. Because it's also active during the day. And if other birds come from the back so then they think it's look at the, looking at them. There you see the ring. Oh, you rigged it? Yeah, but last year. So it's a recap, so I'm going to take all the measurements and everything again, write down the ring number, mm -hmm. as if I've ringed it, the same stuff we do when we ring the bird. Ringing birds is done worldwide. And it's to find out where they move to, or if they stay in an area. And if you um, ring young um, birds, you can actually also determine the age. I've once ringed on a farm one of these pearl potted owls and um, I recaptured it 10 years later. It's an adult bird and it was caught here at Chobo River Camp. Now we look at the moult. Um, we look at the primary feathers. Most birds have got 10 primaries. There's just some swifts who've got nine. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then the secondary start. But we are only interested in the primaries. Okay. And these are all new feathers. So we put new feather as five, and it's got ten of them. Longest feather. And it's 112 millimeters. A bit on the light side, it's 81 minus 378. Okay. Just be very quiet now. And we actually don't know um, why they do that, why they just lay still. With another bird you can't do it, but you can do it with owls. Even the big, um, big ones, they do it. And you can see how sharp the talons are. So if he grabs a mouse or the, um, another bird, he kills the more or less immediately. Yeah. And if you put your finger in there, it's, you start yodeling without having practiced before. 